with our recent successful event of Feeling Sisters with Sal, with helping people out, answering questions, interacting with each and everyone who's been following this channel, I am proud to announce to you that we are going to be hosting our first workshop this January. If you are a person who's looking and wanting for some big changes coming this year, this is that perfect workshop for you. We'll be touching different parts of blockages and healing onwards to a successful new you. So this is going to be new me, new you, who you. Join me this January and I'll see you there. Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. At the end of this reading, it's called the recap, relapse. Chances are you forgot where you were before. Without that, you wouldn't be able to move again. Okay. So it would be healthy for you not to reminisce the past, but to study it. Okay. That's what the purpose is. Or if you don't resonate with this reading, you're going to resonate in the other one. And that's where you will get your, um, how do you call this, uh, your uh, resonance. Okay. Is that written? Yeah. Where you will basically be, it's like, oh, that's me. Okay. So it might be at the next video. Okay, if it's not this one. Um, this one is called Extended 1. That one is called Extended 2. Okay? Catch my drift? We go. Okay. Aqua, please, let's not, let's not get your reading confusing. You guys sometimes are just way out there and I start talking about random stuff. Okay? So let's see what's going on. Um, I might be talking about the planets because we do have workshop. Let's come. A webinar first. Oh, sorry about the workshop. You see, I already lost my track. My mind. Workshop. It's out, the ticket is there, it's limited time, okay, limited seating meaning. Um, it's January 25, new me, new you, who you, I'll be talking more about that. Um, but it's for, you know, for the specific ind individuals who need that extra support because they know they can make the big change. It is a very karmic year because Saturn comes to its natural home in Capricorn. And for you, Aqua, that's in your 12th house, okay, so that's where it's gonna, oh, sorry. Um, yes, it is in your 12th house. That's where it's gonna go. Um, you know, chances are you might have been experiencing some sort of, you know, if you're an Ascendant, um, Aquarian or Moon, you know, some sort of delay with your dreams, aspirations, and desire, with your networks, you know, it has been difficult, it has been challenged, but now, you know, Saturn's gonna go to the 12. 12, Saturn likes to be in the 12, okay? In the house of losses and enemies and also um, isolation, foreign land, okay? So it likes it there. So even you will have more travel opportunities. You know, so, ooh, Aqua, yes, you will. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be good. So attend the work, the webinar. It's right there. Okay, or if you want, join me in the workshop. It's also in the description. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. If I'm not up and up, Aqua, it's been a long day. Okay, so I'm barely getting through. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see here. Aqua. Let's see, Aqua. What's up? Got a page of wands. Okay, creativity at its finest. Okay. Um, normally, this is when you want to write a book. For me, I write a notepad. <laughs> I write a post it. Page of wands is like you have this bright idea. Because okay? you're looking at that, um, uh, okay, that one as your creativity. Either that or you're looking at someone very, very, very lusty. Okay, that's a page of wands. It does, um, you know, if a Knight of Wands, they, it's known as the, you know, adult sleepover. Um, the Page of Wands is the whole, um, let's just label it as what, uh, you know, sexting kind of thing. You know, it doesn't go to the adult one night, uh, adult sleepover. It goes to the whole foreplay, all right? Because the Page of Wands loves to play here, all right? Um, it can be a younger fire sign that you're connecting with also, and it's a little bit frisky, you know, for the season, page of wands. So they're having the urge, or you're having the urge to even just connect casually, okay? They will connect casually with you because the page, they don't follow up, okay? So they visit you, they check you out, and then, or they could have messaged you, you know, a week, and all of a sudden it's gone. That's a page. Mm hmm Page of Wands, yes? Okay, so let's see here. Let me see. Got an Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel here that you're ignoring someone though. You're ignoring someone who you have, okay, um, initially connected with, and for you, it's just like, eh, eh. 
that person belongs in the back burner. So, and you left the stove, the stove open. Okay. <laughs> so I like that. Aqua, even though I'm not there there, I like the way you, you slay. Yes, yeah, so I put them in the back burner and I made sure that it was on high. Mm -hmm. And I left it because <laughs> they get ignored and they're thirsty for you. I feel like this page is a thirsty person. And Eight of Pentacles is like, I ain't at life, so I got work to do. Okay, I got work to do. So why don't you find a tree and rub it yourself? <laughs> You have here, you know, it's like, I'm working for a corporate, um, you know, I, I'm hearing event, okay? I'm trying to c climb the ladder of success over here by being, um, you know, being a Virgo, you know, focus on each coin one step at a time. And that's good right there, Eight of Pentacles, yes? Oh, well. So you're not about that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, ooh, Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like you are interesting. Let me see, because if you see if it's hap happening in your network, okay. Because you know Saturn is the thief also, and if Saturn is coming, you know, removing themselves from the eleventh house, your network, you could have had toxic friends. You do know that, right? And the sun going there, um, you will realize who these toxic friends networks, um, you know, or even people you work with, um, it could be shown to you. But remember, you have hidden enemies also in the 12th house, which is Saturn is going there. So be very, very particular on who you trust, especially the Seven of Swords is here. Yes. Okay, so be careful of who you trust. I'm number seven, so it can be the person that you're dating, you're partnering with, but then you would need an access from, you know, um, from me to Leo. But I don't see anything um, aspecting right now to Leo. But be, just be careful. There's a lie. Someone is lying around you. Ooh! I caught, I caught them, Sal. I caught them faster than you can pull your tennis swords. <clears throat> okay. So whoever betrayed, got, I mean, they got caught. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't caught this person, then you're the tennis swords. See? Mm. So put yourself in this situation. Did you caught someone lying to you because the ten of swords, all betrayal is done? Or you felt so betrayed right now with whatever deceitful ways that this person has done to you? Okay. Aqua, where did you go and what happened here? Mm -hmm. I always say this, do not go in the back alley. You get a shank. Mm. Under the page of wands. Oh, there you go. Frisky. I told you. The tower shows intimacy. Right? Okay. So someone really is thirsty. If you're thirsty, go get a Gatorade. Okay? Because the aqua is focusing on these coins. Yes? Um, there could also be surprise on how the breakup has happened and they're trying to come to you as casual like it never has happened. You could have broke up with someone with a ten of swords after finding out that they lied to you. Lies can be anything, but you know, it can even just be omission. Remember? A mission is betrayal. Where'd you go? Oh, I went to work. Oh, yes. But in between that, you were at the stripper pole. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> stripper pole. So did you work in the stripper? There's nothing wrong with the strippers. Trust me on that one. Just saying. You know, but if you're in a committed relationship, then we got to check that. Okay? Just saying. Mm. You got a five of swords. Yep. Eight of pentacles with a five of swords. You know, it happened so fast. You caught them. You broke up. Okay, mm -hmm. because this one looks like mm -hmm. lusty for you. Um, you caught them. Someone got caught lying here. It didn't end pretty pretty good. And pretty it didn't end pretty good. Yes. Next, under the seven of swords, a page of swords. You have been snoop dogging this person, and now you snoop dog. Okay, you watch them. You've seen how this person is. You broke up with them, you raised the argument with the Five of Swords, you brought Clash of the Titans as a movie, you made sure that it went south. Nine of Wands is just like, you were so guarded after that. You, chance are, Aqua, I hope you don't go there, but you will have trust issues with regards to relationship. Don't go there, you know, it's like not everybody is, is like your soulmate. Some are just majority of them. <laughs> Some majority of them are, <laughs> but not all, okay? That's why we have to purge. That's why there's a tower. And there you go. After the breakup, you start running away like gun with the wind. 
Gone with the Wind mm -hmm. mm. You're moving on from a breakup I feel like, you know, faster than a speeding bullet I'm out Okay, I'm out You lied to me once, I'm out Okay Let me see here yeah, the king caught the liar. King of swords with a fight. Someone here is also um, argumentative. You don't win an argument with a king. So you're going to be, uh, you know, it's like battling with someone who's just like armed with truth. And the truth always wins. Yes. On the page of swords, the sun card, that's the truth. You found it. I told you when sun moves to, um, to, to Sag. And the temperance. And I... I hope it's not a sound. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna go out because I get sun and sage. So there's a big revelation coming to you. Okay, we'll find that. Okay, what's coming to you? Because um, it's actually coming in this uh, uh, 16. Okay, but the cluster 25th is majority planets would be there. Okay. Let me see here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, with the sun here and the temperance, um, I feel here like you're healing after the breakup. You already know the truth about this person. Um, and I don't smell reconciliation, okay? Because nine of ones with the temperance, it's like you're you're guarding yourself even from reconciling with this person. Because you really saw something here, okay? The sun is always, you know, it's bursting with energy. So any house it goes through, it brings out everything, good or bad. You could have realized that this person was bad for you and then you ended it on um, whatever lie, you know, that again, that you've seen and then you just hop in that car and then you went, you go, you gone, you gone. You change home, you relocated, you know, it's like you went on vacation, you went on a healing journey, a healing seminar. I don't care what you did, but you are gone, Alpha. You're gone from this person's life. You, not that you ended it, it ended Ten of Swords with a Tower. It didn't have to be that five of swords that you, you called them out. It was headed that way already. Okay, first card is strongest. They couldn't follow up. Mm hmm Okay, so, <laughs> it's a joke. They couldn't follow it up. They couldn't follow up, but they definitely can get it up. Just sighing with the the tower. <laughs> I had to put it out there. They were talking about it. Okay, so, thank you very much, Aqua, for watching. Next to this is the... Um, the extended to okay make sure you attend the workshops and the webinar it's right there it gets filled fast so um you know get in okay just like this person did mm -hmm. and get out just like what you did Alrighty, i'll see you on the other side have a wonderful wonderful day bye guys aquarius welcome to my channel i'm recording my latest country music which is coming out me and Taylor Swift have worked out something. It's called Shake It Off. Shake It Off. <laughs> How are you? 10 to the 11. Swifties, are we? Okay. <laughs> Sal is mellow. I drank some tea. The real one. Not the one that we put here on YouTube. The tea. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 10 to the 11. Let's begin. Here we go. From my aquas, 10 to the 11. Hmm, here we go. Ace of Swords. Communication, application, determination, nation. <laughs> it's about the nation. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Swords. It's about the truthful, honor, honest conversation. Another shin, right? Anything that you put like that. Okay. So now I'm teaching you how to read, right? So you're gonna say, okay, whatever, what else? Okay. Ace of Swords, um, meeting a new air sign, meeting a new person. Here's what they're telling me though. Ace of Pentacles, you meet an acquaintance. Ace of Cups, you meet, you share a conversation. Let's not discuss what Ace of One shared, let's move along. Okay. Ace of Swords, you cross path like a wind like ho ho <laughs> ho <laughs> hey ho <laughs> hey you know like meeting of the eyes you know like glance and another person glance you know that's what I say that can be the situation but if you already know someone and you guys are talking now let me see other person 
Oh, definitely talking. There is engagement. If you just meet them, uh, you know, a little bit slight, it's just the beginning. There is a follow up. They probably like to play basketball, like as I said, follow up. Mm hmm. I didn't say go long, so it's not football. Mm hmm. Yeah, I know sports. You know, I watch the commercial. <laughs> no, I don't watch TV. Eight of Wands, back and forth. Why are you guys back and forth? Are you guys traveling? Do you want to travel, Aqua? Someone just want to communicate, like, hey, I'm traveling, or hey, I want to see you, you know, or hey, who's hey? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's the hey. Okay. Can be younger person, Ace of Swords with the Prince of Cups. But this is about a charming message. This is the winky wink, you know. Hey, you know, like a wink emoji. Probably send this to someone. A smiley emoji, eh, eh, you know, like that. I don't do it cute. I look at it like, uh, <laughs> it's more like, is there something in your eyes, Sal? <laughs> so that's a Prince of Cups with Ace of Swords. Trying to be cute and funny. At least it's not frisky. Mm-hmm. That's what I say. Oh. Someone you will meet and then they have to go. I feel like it's not an, an old energy. Because Eight of Cups to the Eight of Wands, you meet one time and then they left. There was a meeting and then they left. Okay? So crossing path again. Okay? Or there's a communication. Sorry about that. There's a communication between the two of you also can be like on and off recently. Oh, first card. First time that this card came out. And all the zodiacs, uh, it's the judgment. Okay, so what do they want now? What does the Scorpio want now? I want to come back towards you, and they're trying to be cute and funny about it. If not, you're making a decision, a judgment call with the Ace of Swords, um, to be cute. Do you decide on that, Aqua? Like, I'm deciding that I'm cute today? I mean, do share. Because <laughs> it was a decision, like, yeah, I want to be cute today. <laughs> okay. That's the other person. Oh. Mm hmm If you're if you met someone recently or there's someone that you're getting to know, they're gonna be in and out of your life, not because they're playing you. It's just cause they're not ready, okay? So they are there, they will talk, they will talk, they will entertain, yes. But sometimes they're detached, okay. For others who is still lingering with the past, okay, because they have a judgment in the Two of Cups, there's a chance of reconciliation. There is a coming back, okay? I'm not sure if it's a return of the Jedi, because it's a young person, okay? Hopefully it's not the Sith Lord just saying also, okay? Um, that's coming back, I guess it's a Scorpio, mm -hmm, the one who hides, okay? But also this is about claiming that they've changed. Judgment is like, I've changed, I'm different, you know, and this can be you, okay? Um, saying this or how to say that. Um, claiming that there's there are things in my life right now that is different, okay? There's someone from a distance, someone far from you, and they want to talk to you about, well, love, about connection, about feelings. Uh, here we go. So I'm going to continue this reading, Aquas. As we move forward with these energies, um, link down there. There's a tarot class. Um, there is also the Hierophant is being discussed. Um, this is the second class already. It's the second house Taurus um, Hierophant. So we put all astrology and all those things together right there. There's the 2019 yearly prediction right there. Everything is right there. The only thing not there is me. <laughs> I'll see you guys again. Bye, Aquas.